What's up crafty peeps and welcome to my channel Trina Creates. This is where we get into all things crafty. Nothing's off limits. There's no rules. If we see it, we like it, we do it. So today I need to make a little gift and this person is, she's kind of a crafty person and I thought, I think I want to make her, make her a cute little dishcloth. So I grabbed my cotton yarn. I have peaches and cream and sugar and cream. So between these two, we're going to come up with a cute little dishcloth. I also have my big book of dishcloths. We're going to flip through, see if we want to make a square one or a round one. Ah, <laughs> let's go over to the table. I'll show you what we're working on. So for this project, I'm using 100% cotton yarn, one skein of peaches and cream and rosemary, and a skein of sugar and cream and green twists, and a size G crochet hook. With this type of project, you can start a couple of different ways on the foundation row. You can either chain six and join with a slip stitch to form a ring, or you can use the magic circle technique, which is what I'm going to use. I'm going to begin it by making a circle, doing a chain, um, a chain six. Double crochet into the center of the ring. Chain three. And this is actually going to be your repeat for seven times. Once you've completed the repeat, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the beginning of the third chain from the beginning chain six. And this will complete your first round. To begin round two, you're going to do a chain three and then make four double crochets into the next um, chain three space. And this is where your repeat is going to come into play. 
you're going to do a double crochet into the very next double crochet and then you'll make four double crochets into the next chain three space and like I said this is the repeat this will go all the way around until you get back to the end of the round I'll see you there Now to end this round, you're going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. And this completes round two. To start round three, you're going to slip stitch into that next double crochet. chain three we're gonna half double crochet in the next two double crochets double crochet into the next double crochet chain five and then skipping the next double crochet you're gonna double crochet in the next double crochet and this is where what's gonna be a repeat beginning with that that double crochet we just completed you'll do a half double crochet in the next two double crochet in the next double crochet chain five and skip the next stitch and then the repeat starts you're going to do the double crochet in the next double crochet and repeat the the same um, set of stitches that we just completed I'll see you at the end
And now that we're back at the end, you're going to do um, a slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain three. And that completes round three. It's always good to check your stitch count to make sure you're on track before you start the next round. So beginning with round four, you're going to join your next color, which I have a solid green, and you're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that you, you had joined before at the top of that chain three. And this time you're going to work what they call a beginning cluster. And what I've noticed with the beginning of anything, any type of cluster, it always starts with a chain two. You'll yarn over and insert the hook into your next stitch. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to repeat the process by yarning over, going into the next stitch, pull through two more loops. You'll do it one more time into that last stitch. Except this time, you're going to pull through all four loops. And that's your beginning cluster. Next, you're going to chain five. You'll um, place a single crochet into the next chain five space. Chain five. And this is going to be your repeat. This time you're going to work the cluster. And it's the same process that you used before, except this time there won't be a chain two in the beginning. You'll just insert the loop into the next stitch. Pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, go through the last stitch, and then pull through all four loops. Next, you'll do the chain five, single crochet into the next stitch, and repeat around to the end. I'll see you there. Now that we're at the end, you'll do a chain five, and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain cluster. Now, I wasn't quite sure where to find that top, but as long as you consistently place that stitch in the same place, it's going to look perfect. And this completes round four. So for round five, 
You're going to start this round by doing a chain 7. You're going to do a half double crochet into the next chain 5 space. You'll do a half double crochet into that next single crochet. And you'll do a half double crochet into that next chain 5 space. You'll chain five and this next um, stitch begins the beginning of your repeat. You're going to do um, a half double crochet and you're going to do it into the top of that next cluster. And remember, like I said before, as long as you consistently put it in the same place, you'll be just fine. You'll do a chain five, do a half double crochet into the next chain five space, half double crochet into the next single crochet, and you'll do that half double crochet again into that next um, chain five space. We'll chain five. And repeat those that set of stitches around to the end. And I will see you there. And to end round five, you're going to do a slip stitch into the second chain of that beginning chain seven. And this completes round five. To begin round six, you're going to chain three. You're going to place two double crochets in the same stitch as the chain three. Chain two. Double crochet in the next chain five space. chain two and here you're going to see a group of three stitches you're going to skip that first half double crochet and in that center you're going to place three double crochets in that middle half double crochet
chain two. You're going to double crochet in the next chain five space. Chain two. We're going to work this um, same um, set of stitches again one more time. In that middle half double crochet, you're going to do three double crochets. chain two, double crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, and that completes your repeat. You're going to do the same set of stitches again all the way around a total of six more times. In this round, we're going to place three double crochets in the um, that middle half double crochet. We're going to chain two. We're going to double crochet in the next chain five space. chain two then we're going to slip stitch to the top of that beginning um, chain three stitch and this will complete round six To begin round seven, we're going to chain one. We're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch as that chain one. Chain five. We're going to skip the next double crochet and single crochet in that next double crochet. Chain 2. 
chain three. We're going to single crochet and chain three twice, all in that same double crochet. And then this is going to begin our repeat. We're going to single crochet in the next double crochet. Chain five. Skip the next double crochet. You're going to single crochet in that next double crochet. chain three you're going to single crochet and chain three twice in that next double crochet And that's your repeat. I'll see you at the end. Joining with a slip stitch to that first single crochet ends round seven. For the eighth and final round, you're going to slip stitch into that first chain five space chain one you're going to single crochet into that same space chain three you're going to single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and then you're going to do it one more time into that next chain three space and then again you'll chain three and this next set is your repeat you're going to single crochet into the next chain five space chain three you're going to single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three do it one more time single crochet into the next chain three space and chain three 
You will repeat this set of stitches all the way around to the end and then I'll see you there as we finish up. And you will end your final round by locating that, um, that first single crochet. And that's where you will place your slip stitch. Ending round eight. And this finishes our little elegant cluster dishcloth. Well, there you have it, our finished project. We got a cute little circular dishcloth. It's kind of frilly, kind of lacy, make a great gift. I started off with two full skeins and I have enough left to make this dishcloth a set. I count that as a success. I will back it, I will <laughs> I will package it up nicely and it will make a cute little elegant gift. It didn't take too long. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel to see future content, and as always, get your craft on. Bye.